Hello, good morning, Hasima Tova. A good jar, a good bench jar. We have another mitzvah from the uh, Sefer and Mitzvahs, Leham Rambam. So let's take a look at, at it. Let's take a look at the Indian that we're going to be learning today. So, anyway, we have here a mitzvah of Reish Ches Tzadik Kazara shows Harnu. Milahashir, Milahashir, Mokshim, Omech Sholim, Biorenu, Ovetor, Botenu, Kedeshalo, Yovdu Bahem, Bene Adam. It's the mitzvah of that we are exhorted to not to leave any, uh, moksh, any things that is poses a danger to us or to any family member or to anybody, or we'll show them things that we that can be stumbled upon, God forbid, be orenu in our cities, or also in our houses, in order so that people should not be hurt or destroyed by them, God forbid, by these things. In other words, we have to make sure that we live in a very safe environment, and that, that the community lives in a very safe environment. It says in the Torah, And you should not put, one should not put blood in your house. In other words, do things that make sure that everything is, is go, that there's no dangers in the house, in the in and in the city. Rosham Chavbeis Ches. That's in the Varim of Parik Chavbeis. That's twenty-two Ches. That's the eighth pasuk. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Be'ezra Hashem on the Shon Sifri, and it says in the Sifri, Parshas Teitzei Shem, Parshas Kizeitzei Shem. Over there, we are sisa ma'ake. We are sisa ma'ake, and one should make a, a a gate. In other words, one has a house, or one builds a house. One has to. It's a mitzvah to put a gate on the, on the roof. In other words, one shouldn't have the roof, without a gate, because it should be safe for the people if they go out on the roof. It should be safe for them that that there's a gate and it it helps it saves people from danger. Shum is over there. Mitzvah say mitzvah say. putting put that one should put a gate around the the uh, roof. Mitzvah say that's a positive commandment. and one shouldn't. Put blood in one's hands. In other words, one shouldn't do things that are pose a danger to other people. Mitzvah slosa say. Mitzvah slosa say. That's a a negative commandment. That one we should not do that. And we and we. This baru. It's this been elucidated. The the dinim. The the halachos of this mitzvah. Beresh Shkolim in the beginning of Shkolim, the Talmud of the Talmud, Yerushalmi, the the Jerusalem Talmud, the Bekama Mekomos, the Seder Nazikin, and many places in in Nazikin. Baba Kama, that's Baba Kama, that's in the Talmud. Baba Kama Tesvav, Tesvav is uh, fifteen, and Memvav, that's the Daf Tesvav, the fifteenth uh, Daf page, a uh, Daf is a page. Memvav is uh, 46, the Ode, and other places too. So let's take a look over here in the in the Chumash, in the Chumash. It says, Velo sasim damim bebeisecha. One should not uh, put, you should not have blood in your house. Shum chavbeis ches. That shum is, wherever it says shum, that means the last place that was quoted. And the last place that was quoted was the Varim. Devarim, so that's Devarim, Chaf Beis, that's uh, 
chapter 22 and Ches. Okay, let's take a look at it. Let's see, so this is here is, this is the Varim. So this is Chavbeiz. Let's take a look at Chavbeiz. So yeah, Chavbeiz, that's the, that's the Parak Chavbeiz. And Ches is the, right over here, the Pasuk. When you build a new house, one should, you should put a a guardrail, a guardrail or a gate around the roof. And then, then it says after that, you should not... Put blood on your house. When the person, when the, somebody that falls will fall, might fall from it, God forbid. So let's see what it says in English. <coughs> so that would be, that's number eight. If you build, if you build a new house, you shall make a fence for your roof so that you will not place blood in your house if a fallen one falls from it. So it's a mitzvah. You should, you should, if you build a new house, it's a mitzvah to put a fence on the roof so that you will not, so that nobody, no push one should fall down from it, God forbid. Mark, oh, let's see what it says in the note. Protective fence. The Torah requires a Jew to erect a fence or other form of barrier around the around his roof. This commandment applies also to any dangerous situation, such as a swimming pool or a tall stairway. So that, so that also it, one has to erect a fence or another form of barrier around the roof or other dangerous situations, such as a swimming pool. <coughs> Excuse me. Or, or a tall stairway, or a tall stairway. Ki yipol hanofel. If a fallen one, if a fallen one falls from it, the says hanofel. It's, so it says the term fallen one implies that the person who died deserved to fall, for presumably God punished him in this way for his prior. <coughs> excuse me. For his prior sins, but God, but God causes good things to happen through. But God causes good things to happen through good people and bad things through bad people. Rashi. Therefore, the builder or owner or owner of the hazard is at least morally liable. Okay, so that's that note over here. Let's take a look at the next Mishnah, the next Mishnah, uh, and the next part of the what the Rambam says here. Uh, let's see. So the next part is, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get everything together now. <coughs> so, a mitzvah hakuf pei dalid, atzivuish and itzavinu lesale kamokshim v'mitsholim mikol mishkinosenu. It's a mitzvah to take away. It's a mitzvah to... Oh, so this is a negative way of saying it. This is the, ne the negative. Alosa say. And this is Hatsibu Yishin Itzavin and Lasali Kamokshim. It's a mitzvah that we are commanded to take away any kind of danger, anything that, that might pose a danger to anyone. Lasali, to take away Hamokshim, Things that are dangerous, we have, we'll have to see exactly what that word means. Also, things that can cause one to stumble. Mikol Mishkinosenu, from all of our dwelling places, from all of our, the environment. Hainu, which means, Shenivne Kotel Makif Sobiv Hagagos, that we should build a Kotel Makif, Kotel Makif. A, a wall that surrounds Makif, 
Saviv Hagagos. Makif is like Hakafos. Makif going around. Makif and Saviv Hagagos around the 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 roof. In other words, we have to have some kind of a kotel, a wall around the wall around the um, roof, so that so that there's no danger. The, and also via boros via shichin. Also, if we if we if we are responsible for a bore is a pit, or if we see a pit a pit and nobody's taking care of it, also we should try to do something that that should, situation should be taken care of and it should be covered. You know, or, or, so we we can either build a wall there so people don't should fall, God forbid. Via shichin, that's it might be another type of pit, a shichin. And vidomeh and other things like that. In other words, we do is that so nobody should fall from these places. Kedei shelo yipo mishahu bohem. In order that nobody should fall bohem into them, o mehem, or from them. You, they shouldn't fall either from the roof, God forbid, or or into the pit, God forbid. Vechein mekomos. Also, in other other places where there is a uh, a danger, kulam bonim umetaknim osam. We have to go and build something and fix them. In other words, we have to fix that there should not be a place of a sakana. There should not be any danger. Kedesha tasur hasakana. In in order Kadesha Tasura Sakana in order to turn away the Sakana, the the this dangerous situation. Vihu Omru and it says, Vyasisa Makele Gagecha. And you should put a a makya is a, a gate or guardrails or some kind of a gate or a wall legagecha to your to your roof. If one is building a house, one has to put a, a, a gate or guardrails around the legagecha, the, around the roof. Sham. Well, the Shon Sifri, it says in the Sifri, Vyosisa Makia legagecha, mitzvah sasei. It says, Vyosisa mitzvah Makia legagecha, we should make a makeh, that's the guardrail or the 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 wall ligagecha for our ligagecha for your roof mitzvah say this is a positive commandment it's a positive commandment to actually make a roof make a and not make not make a roof but put a wall around the roof ukvar Ukvar nisba aru dinei mitzvah zu b'masechet babu kama, and uh, it's, we have already. Uh, it, it has been talked that the Rambam spoke about this dinei mitzvah zu b'masechet b'maseches babu kama in the, the the tractate of babu kama in the Talmud. So this is the, we're dealing with put in the, that. We should put a guardrail or a wall, not probably a wall. A mark is like a wall by a by a uh, roof, because that is a that's a dangerous thing, and it's a mitzvah to take away the danger. That thing should be safe for people. It's a mitzvah. To, it's a mitzvah to put a. You should put a guardrail, a guardrail or a wall, a wall by the legagecha for your your, your uh, roof. And uh, this is the he, he brings this pasuk here. That's pasuk ches. Uh, Ki sibne bayis chodosh, 
when you build a new house by his chodosh, you should put a, a wall ligagecha for your around around the uh, roof. And one should not put, there should not be a cause for, for blood shed, God forbid, in your household. When the person that falls, falls from it. In other words, one has to make sure that some, that nobody falls from it, that things are okay, that things are safe. That's what the Torah is saying to us. And this is... Uh, Sefer HaMitzvos Liharambam. Sefer HaMitzvos Liharambam. One can purchase this. and uh, I, These days, probably, they have it in English, too. So, the mitzvos and 